Well, hello, Internet. I get asked all of the time from many people, but this is specifically for Beth who requested this video, for recipes that will help you lose weight that people have never heard of. Today, I'm going to show you how to make leek soup, which is extremely healthy and extremely good tasting. The reason why people don't eat leeks is because they are kind of hard to clean. Basically what you do, these are leeks by the way, if you don't know what a leek is, and you can get them at most grocery stores. Cut off the top of the leek first off, and these guys are absolutely covered in mud. But leeks are what, what are called diuretics, and I think you know what that means. However, I'm not talking about a really explosive situation here. I'm talking about something that'll just kind of ease the mind, and you can see here, I hope, the dirt that's all over the leeks. The, this is the hard part of the recipe, cleaning the leeks. Everything else afterwards is extremely easy. Now, of course, you want to chop the top off the leek, and I can't even explain how extremely delicious this soup is. Then after you chop the tops off, you want to split the leek down the middle, like so. I'm using four leeks here, and then discard all the extra leaves. Then what you want to do is take the leeks and wash them in a sink with water. It's not as bad as it seems. And for the most part, you have to clean the most exterior of leaves. That's where you're gonna have your mud issues. And I'm of the opinion that most Americans are obese, not because they're lazy, like a lot of people say, but it's simply they won't take the time to make themselves good food. And food that tastes so extremely good and is so extremely low in calories. You can eat this soup. You can eat as much of this soup as you could possibly want to. You just have to take a couple minutes to make yourself a good meal. Believe me, you'll be happy you did. And I lost 80 pounds in five months, by the way, by eating food like this. I looked specifically for delicious meals that were very, very low in calorie. And then if it had added benefits, such as the diuretic end, I also took that into consideration. Okay, now that you got your leeks all clean, which it took me, I timed it, about three minutes to clean all the mud off of these leeks. Then you want to chop your leeks up like this. Nice pieces. And just chop them up. And don't worry about chopping them up a ton because all of this stuff is going to be blended in a blender. And that's pretty good right there. Got some bigger pieces in there, but I just basically wanted to chop it up so that everything was fairly even. You're also going to need chickpeas. This is 15 ounces, normal size can. And to make this healthier, I like to take them out of the can and brush them off with water to get some of the sodium off of the chickpeas or garbanzo beans, depending upon what you want to call them. Then I heat up a big pot and add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And I like garlic, so this is about two tablespoons of garlic. Put that in the bottom. And this is on high, by the way. And then I get my leeks and dump them in the pot. And these are gonna shrink down. And you wanna leave the top off the pot, of course. And then just let the leeks cook in this pot until they become tender. And this is what the leeks will look like after you've cooked them in a pan for about five minutes. Now you want to add, this is potato, and I'm just, I microwave this for three and a half minutes in a microwave after I peeled it, of course. And then I wanna take my chickpeas and dump them also into the pan. Then I wanna stir this up. Again, we're blending all this, so we don't need to worry about chopping things up or anything like that. Then to this mixture, after you've stirred this up and let it cook here for about a minute and a half, I want to add two cups of chicken stock. This is homemade chicken stock. That's for another video. You could, of course, get a low-calorie, low-sodium chicken stock and use that instead or use even a vegetable stock. That's not going to matter. Now we're going to let this simmer for 15 minutes, occasionally checking it and stirring it. Okay, after I boiled or simmered, whatever you want to call it, I had the oven on high for 10 to 12 minutes. The soup is essentially done. I just need to dump it into a blender.
dump it all down inside of there. And then you want to blend it. And the other chicken stock that I had is actually to be used to thin the soup if it's too thick for you. And I'm moving, I'm moving the blender by the way. <laughs> and that, for me, is the perfect consistency. I wish you could taste this. I, I know it looks like cream spinach or something. It is absolutely to die for. And this was a key staple in my diet in which I lost 80 pounds in five months. And I, instead of most of the gurus, like to provide this information for free to actually help people instead of charge you for it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Till next time.